While clinical trials suggest remdesivir isn't very effective in treating COVID-19, recent studies have shown that it does block coronavirus activity. That apparent contradiction makes the antiviral drug even more controversial. Remdesivir is an experimental drug developed by biotech company Gilead Sciences, under the brand name Vecliri, in collaboration with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. It's one of many drug candidates that were originally designed in response to the threat from emerging diseases caused by RNA viruses, germs like the one behind the 2002 SARS outbreak, that have potential to cause global pandemics. Such broad-spectrum drugs target features shared by a wide range of disease-causing germs. In Remdesivir's case, that's the virus genetic material, RNA. The drug proved ineffective against the Ebola virus, however, yet was still subsequently repurposed for SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. News media prematurely reported that patients were responding to treatment. But the published data later showed that remdesivir was not associated with statistically significant clinical benefits, and the numerical reduction in time to clinical improvement in those treated earlier requires confirmation in larger studies. The controversy surrounding remdesivir therefore revolves around whether the drug is actually an effective treatment. Early studies produced conflicting evidence on remdesivir's effectiveness. Some found that COVID patients who received the drug recovered faster and fewer people died, but other studies showed that it didn't reduce the length of hospitalization or death rate. What's weird about remdesivir is that it hasn't been held to the same standards as other drug candidates. COVID-19 vaccines have been developed 10 times faster than traditional drugs, but they've passed the phase 3 clinical trials that test whether a potential medicine is both safe and effective in thousands of people. Normally, a drug is only approved for use by a regulatory body like the US Food and Drug Administration if it meets the two criteria for safety and efficacy. Nonetheless, in October 2020, Remdesivir was granted approval by FDA based on promising data from relatively small trials with about 1,000 participants. A large-scale analysis by the World Health Organization Solidarity Trial Consortium has cleared up the confusion. Based on interim results from studying more than 5,000 participants, the international study concluded that remdesivir had little or no effect on hospitalized patients with COVID-19, as indicated by overall mortality, initiation of ventilation, and duration of hospital stay. As a consequence of being mostly ineffective, WHO recommends against the use of remdesivir in COVID-19 patients. The drug is administered over 5 or 10 days. A 5-day course of treatment costs around $2,600 per person.